everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I had a really exciting delivery about 45 minutes ago and I quickly charged up my camera battery and threw on some clothes. Don't worry, I was dressed, I just had my pyjamas on. And I just wanted to get on camera just to share my first impressions of my latest purchase, which is the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave eyeshadow palette. And this is by Jane from British Beauty Blogger. I haven't even opened the palette yet, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing, if you like, on camera. I'm really excited about this palette for a number of reasons. The first being is that it is so hyped everywhere I look, whether it's on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, everybody is talking about this palette and I've been reading Jane's blog for quite a long time now and I also follow her on Periscope so I was really excited when she showed us a first look at the palette, she showed some swatches and her reasons behind picking certain colours and I just thought it looked like a great palette and for £10 I mean you can't afford to not try it out, I mean it's such a bargain. The other reason why I'm so excited about it is that I've never actually bought any Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. It. and I'm kind of ashamed to admit that because they're so affordable there's no excuse not to really and everybody talks about how good they are but for some reason I've just never tried them so I think this palette came out yesterday yesterday or maybe today but it's out in stores next week I was lucky enough to get a notification and, and Jane was on Periscope talking about how Makeup Revolution had launched it early and I didn't even watch the rest of Periscope I just went straight onto their website and pre-ordered it I just thought it's £10 why not? But this is what the palette looks like. I'm really impressed actually. It doesn't feel cheap quality. I wouldn't expect the packaging to be that great for a palette that only costs £10. It's more about the product inside. But this looks really sleek, really pretty. I love the gold detailing and I know that from watching her periscopes that she's designed the whole thing herself. I have to admit, I did open the palette up. I just needed to take some photos for my blog just before I show you. So I have had a sneaky peek but I haven't swatched anything yet. I'm also really impressed that it comes with a mirror I wouldn't have expected that at all I mean it's only £10 there's really not many products that you can buy that are good for £10 so super impressed that it comes with a mirror and I also like that it comes with this little sleeve so you do get the eyeshadow names on them that's really handy I think but I'm pretty sure I'll lose that from what I can see there's such a great mix of neutral shadows a few golds matte shadows, deeper, darker shades, shimmers, it's just, it's just a beautiful palette and I think that it looks like one of those palettes that if you were just getting into eyeshadow this would be a really great first purchase because there's so many different shades to suit every skin tone, every complexion, you can really just play around with colours that you like, colours that you don't before you invest in more eyeshadows or higher end eyeshadows but this looks really great. I'm just going to swatch a few of these shadows now just to see how they feel. I'm so impressed with these swatches. I've just swatched these four shadows on the end here and they're so creamy, they're so buttery to the touch and they're very, very pigmented. And I just think it's so amazing. I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand. And that's what one swipe looks like. I've only done the four, like I said, I haven't swatched every single shade, but I'm really, really impressed with this. I've clearly been living under a rock. I mean, I can't believe it's taken me this long to purchase Makeup Revolution. They've been around for two years, actually. So, yeah, I'm a little bit ashamed of that, but I'm so impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows. Like I said, I'm not sure how all of them will swatch because I haven't tried all of them. It's just the first four. Now, looking at this palette, I can tell there's one or two shades that I may not wear, but that's one or two out of 30. And... I just think for £10, even if I don't wear 15 out of the 30 shades, it's still a really good deal. <laughs> I love that this is like a one-size-fits-all palette. It's like no matter how old you are, what your skin tone is, what your preferences are when it comes to makeup, or even if you say just wear darker shades of eyeshadow and you want to try out some more neutrals, this is just great for everything. And I love products like this because it's almost like if you were to only buy one eyeshadow palette, this could very well be it. And that's really, really good. Really great. I can see that she's put a lot of thought into this. She's got some really nice base colours, some highlight colours like brow 
cream colours, crease, transition colours and there's even a matte black which I just think that every eyeshadow palette needs because you can easily take a day look into a night look without taking off all of your makeup and just smoke it out with a bit of a black eyeshadow. And I like how she's got a few golds in there. These would look really, really nice if you have pale skin just as a brow bone highlight or just on the... Um, what's it called, the inner corners of your eyes as well, just to make them pop. One thing that I do remember Jane saying on her Periscope was that if you wear this peach eyeshadow when you're hungover, it just opens up your eyes. I don't know how true that is, but I thought that was really funny and really quite clever as well. So I'm also not sure if that's the reason she's included this in the palette, but I think this is quite a nice colour. I've just noticed one flaw actually, I've just tried to swatch this shade and there's really not much pigment in it, so that's something to just be aware of, that they may not all be great quality. To me, this one just feels slightly chalkier than the rest. I'm not sure why. They probably all do differ slightly in quality, but for £10, I really don't think you can go wrong. If you would like to see swatches of all of these shades, then please just leave me a comment down below, and I can either do that on my blog or make a separate video. But for now, I think I'm just going to create a look with this palette. I'm not going to do it as a tutorial per se. I'm just going to play around with the colours, see what I'm drawn to. But do let me know if you would like to see a tutorial using this palette because I'll be more than happy to do so. In fact, I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this and it'll be great for so many different occasions as well. And overall, it's really compact, it's not too bulky. I, Like I said, I don't have any other Makeup Revolution palettes so I don't really know how it compares but I really like it. But for now, I'm just going to have a little play and see which colours take my fancy. <laughs> this really quick five minute makeup. <laughs> I've tested out four or five different shades and I'm really really impressed. Some of them are more pigmented than others and some of them feel a little bit chalky but again like I keep saying for £10 you really cannot go wrong. In case you're wondering the shadows that I use this gold shade but it kind of translates more like a rose goldy pinky shade. Then I went in with this purple, followed by that on the outside. I blended it out with just a tiny bit of the black. The black is very pigmented and just to highlight the brow bone and go over the inner corner, I went in with this shade. This is such a beautiful golden shade and I'm really, really impressed with the quality of these eyeshadows. I don't know how many more times I can say it. <laughs> but yeah, overall this gets a huge thumbs up from me. I'm definitely going to test out every single shade and create lots more looks with this palette. So if you do want me to film any of them or if you have a specific tutorial in mind, then please do leave me a comment down below. If you've bought this palette or are thinking of buying it when it comes out next week, then please tag me on the looks that you create using it because I would love to see. There's just so many different shades to play around with, so many great colour combinations. I'm just really, really excited to see what people come up with. So please tag me on Instagram or send me a tweet. I would love to see it. I really hope you enjoyed this different style of video from me. If you did enjoy it, please click that share button down below. I would love to see you sharing it on Facebook, Twitter, I think you can share it everywhere. That would mean so much to me. Every time I upload a new video, I do post it on my Facebook page. So if you haven't given that a like yet, then please do. Again, that would mean so much to me. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.